Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. This beginner workout is going to be a total body workout. So you'll require a variety of dumbbells in the workout, but I'm also going to do a little bit of cardiovascular work just to get the heart rate up. All right, I'll start you with a warm up. We'll end with a cool down. And if you like beginner style workouts, please click the card at the top of the screen, and that's my playlist. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, if you're using a watch, you can tap strength. Let's start with a warm up right here. So a little bit of everything, upper body, lower body, arms, abs, and cardio here today. We'll get you feeling good in the next 30 minutes. All right, reach up and over. Good, and arm circles, big stretch there. Stretch directions. All right, feet shoulder width apart, and you squat, reach right here. One more here. And wide. Oh, <laughs> I'm a sore chest. Just from something I did yesterday. I can feel it right there. Two more here. Good, stay wide. We're gonna touch our toes with opposite hand to toe. If you can't meet your toe, just touch your shin. Some hip openers, so just up and around like this. Good, and we're gonna do a little dig and sweep, alternate legs. Just finish with the torso turn and we'll get started. Okay, great. Grab your dumbbells. All right, I'm going to start with a goblet squat so you can hold a light weight or no weights is fine. Feet are shoulder width apart, shoulders back. You're going to hold the dumbbell here. We're going to squat. Get ready, and let's work. Of course, depending on your own fitness level, you can lift whatever weights you know suit to you, okay? But if you're new, the lighter the better when you first get started. All right, we're gonna take it right into a sumo squat. So open that stance. Feet are gonna face the front. You can hold your dumbbell here. I'll call halfway and we'll switch hand positions, but shoulders back, get ready to squat. And here we go. Drop your glutes low, chest is out, chin is up. Switch hands, shoulders back. And 
All right, set your weight down. We're moving into some cardio here. Feel free just to tap it out while you're waiting. We're gonna do a low ice skater, just like this, okay? I want you to get low. Here we go, here. You can jump this if you'd like. Again, we're gonna move into a plie squat wide press. So wide stance here, hands are on the shoulders, gonna drop low and press out wide. Here we go. Low and here. lateral combo so we feet together one arms to the side one to the front and then we'll alternate all right shoulders low and back here we go you're up switch Cardio. Okay, we're gonna do a side tap, front punch, overhead punch, alternating. All right, get low here and overhead. The lower you are, the more you're gonna feel those glutes burn. turn palms facing the ceiling and hit your bicep curl there instead. All right, pelvic tilt, shoulders back and drop. Here we go. Curl the top. shoulder exercise. We're going to go up to the side, up high, center, and down. Lighten if you need. Twos or threes are great. Here we go. You're here. High and down. So lateral, high front.
All right, back to cardio. Two jacks, two frogs. You can mod here, here, frog, frog, all right? Or you could kick it up and do the high impact if you like. Here we go. One, two, frog, frog. If you can't touch the ground, just reach down instead. All right, shake that out. We're gonna go into a low three pulse squat. Feet are shoulder width apart. You're gonna drop low, pulse for one, two, three, then stand and tiptoe. Here we go. Drop one, two, three, stand, tiptoe. One, two, three, and up. Tracking that shoulder blade. Stay on this side with me. You want to focus on having a super flat back. Excellent. Switch sides. And again, I'm just going to hinge at the waist. Make sure there's no rounding in your shoulders. Here we go, and row. Cardio before we take it to the ground. Cardio kicks right here. You can reach your hands overhead. You can kick it out if you want high impact. Here we go, and here. Nice and quick. down to the ground next, so grab your dumbbells and meet me down there. All right, of course you can do this on a bench, but we're gonna go right into a single side chest press. So down on the ground, wide arms. Both are gonna start up and we're gonna go singles down alternating. Okay, here we go. I want you to stay over the chest, not the head. So set those legs at 90 degrees, alternating heel tap there. You can also do this from the ground if this hurts your neck. Here we 
go. And tap, switch sides, and tap. Good. All right, let's flip over for some mountain climbers. Now, you can tap this in, that's what I'm gonna do. Great, like this. If that hurts your wrists, feel free to hold a plank right from your elbows, you can log right here as well. All right, here we go, tap it here, here. Good, nice quick little action here. Attempting to get the heart rate up a bit. Then we're flipping back over. Three, two, one. All right, moving into your tricep chest press. Overhead extension, so maybe fives or eights would be good weights here. You're gonna press to the ceiling, come back at the tricep, up and return. All right, press it up, back, up, return. your arms over your chest. We're going to do a chest fly where we open out to the side, squeeze at the center, go nice and slow and round it like you're hugging a tree. Ready? Here we go. Open, open and squeeze together. Bicycles. To modify this, you can come here, elbow to knee, then place your foot on the ground, switch sides, or hit this bicycle right here with me. Get ready, here we go. And slow, slow, that's it. People often rush this one, I don't want you to rush. take a few moments because you just were upside down into high knees we've got two aside one two and switch here we go two one and two squat, foot sweep. So wide stance, feet face the front. You're gonna squat here and then sweep. Stay on the same leg, I'll call halfway. All right, shoulders back. Here we go, drop low, sweep here. So inner thigh comes towards the ceiling. All right, switch sides, drop low and sweep.
All right, grab your weights for pinwheel curls. Palm is gonna face the ceiling. I'm gonna curl alternating sides, just like this, flex at the top. Great. All right, a little frog shuffle. So you're gonna squat here low, and then sidewalk, 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 tap. All right, reach down if you can't touch the ground, drop it low, and side, 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 ground. You're gonna curl here, then you're gonna hinge, kick back. Stand and curl, hinge and kick. Here we go. Up and kick. Up. Set those down. We're gonna go a little bit lighter here and do a palms up front raise so palms face the ceiling. I'm gonna bring them together and then down just like that, shoulders back. Right here, good. If your weight is too heavy, go ahead and do a single side at a time. Okay, quite a bit easier there. Stick your chest out though, no rounded in the shoulders. Great. Moving into the other cardio, we're gonna squat overhead reach. So here in the center here, tiptoe, stretch overhead there. Wide stance. All right, here we go. Up it low and reach. If you can't touch the ground, just reach down as low as you can. Tiptoes if you're right, if you can as well. Grab some weights into a kick out back wing extension. Go light, maybe threes or two fives. So you're gonna start here. We're gonna row, turn, kick in and down. Here we go. Row up, turn and kick in and down. Up, kick in, down. Flex those triceps at the top. Right there. Good. Last one here. Kick in and down. All right, give another 30 second break. If you don't need the break, just give me some jacks. We're taking it down to the ground. Let's get on all fours. We're gonna start with a fire hydrant out to the side. All right, I will call halfway, then we'll switch. Nice flat back, neutral neck, here we go. And lift. All right, switch sides here. 
here. We're gonna go into a donkey kick, so same position, but kicking flat foot to the ceiling right there. Again, I'll call halfway, we'll switch, and then we're gonna add them on together here. Get ready, here we go, and up. Try not to arch the back. A few more here, three, two, switch legs, and press. Sides again, we're gonna come up into that fire hydrant. You're gonna kick it out in and down. 30 seconds of leg on this one, it's gonna burn. Take your time. Okay, neutral neck. You're up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Same side for 30. There's the burn, I feel it. sides for your butt kick. Here we go. Low kick. And here. That's it. Here, shoulders back, I'll go halfway on the leg. Arms up, leg, and press. Slow, press, good. If you need to just drop your leg, if that hurts your hip flexor, that's fine. Okay, try to balance if you can. Three, two, switch legs, here we go. Knee, same side for 30 seconds. Here we go. You 
far. Hinge and up, holding on to something. You've got great balance and you don't need to hold on. Do it without. Challenging. Great. You'd probably be better on one side than the other. So again, steady yourself with the wall, high uh, end of a chair, couch. This knee is quite soft though. We're hinging. Here we go. And reach. How are you doing? Are you tippy? <laughs> really good to practice. If you don't use it, you lose it. All right, excellent. We're going to go into a cross in front move like this, okay? Run that out if you want. Jump that out. All right, hands up. Here we go. You're up down, up, down, good. Moving into another cardio, just to get heart rates up. Predator Jack, it's a nice low side squat. Last exercise here. All right, ready? Here we go, and low. Together, low. Shoulders back, chest is up. Look at me, good. daily in your total body no repeat strength and cardio workout thanks for doing this with me join for a stretch if you can okay once your heart rate's down come to the ground I'd like you to lie down on your back with your knees bent feet on the floor arms are out to the side and let's slowly let those legs fall to one side try to keep your shoulders on the ground okay feel that torso stretch that thoracic spine Getting a good stretch there into the chest as well. Excellent. All right, let the legs fall the other direction. Again, you'll probably feel slightly tighter on one side than the other, that is normal, but definitely something we need to work on. I went for a, well, it was massage, but it was more like active release this morning. All right, let's go into a hamstring stretch. Grab your calf, flex your foot and stretch. Anyway, so he didn't do like a bunch of massage. It was more like pressure point holding. Oh my gosh, the pain of my arm and my hamstring, my leg. But it did help actually. I felt really good doing this workout today. Switch sides. Normally when I lift both hands over my head, I have like a sort of impingement on the one side. It's the side I do the editing. It. It's my mouse side, right? That I on my computer with. So I'm there with that in that position a lot, but whatever you did, it's feeling better. So definitely going back. All right, come down here. Feet are gonna be on the ground. I want you to let your legs fall open and just a gentle rock side to side here. It's a little frog stretch, opening up into the groin and the inner thighs. Excellent. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna go and hug both knees if you can. Just give me a few little circles on that lower back. And then switch directions. Very good. All right, 
slowly just roll over to your side and then you're gonna just slowly get up. Going on to all fours, give me some cat and cow here. So round it up through the back. Think of your shoulder blades separating and reaching up to the ceiling there. And then you're gonna exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin, arc the back there. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, round through the back, separate your shoulders. And exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. Now I want you to open up your legs. We're gonna go down into child's pose here. Reach your arms forward and drop the head to the mat. Very good, stay down here for a few seconds. And let's take one arm and tuck that under. Okay, just stretching that rear delt a bit, the back shoulder, the back and middle back section. Oh, you just stay here for all day. <laughs> I think the dog wouldn't like that too much. Switch sides, drop that arm under. Very good. Oh, yeah. That was a hard thing to start my morning with was that massage because then I just felt like I was done for the day. <laughs> In fact, I, it was only 9 a.m. when I was done. All right, kneel or stand. Let's put our hands behind our back, stretch through the chest, tilt your neck here to one side. You know, massage always makes you feel so like, oh, because they're warm blankets and, but anyway, like I said, it wasn't a relaxation massage. It was a painful, but I think it was good. Okay, with your hands on the ground, if you can, just go back to your heels. We're gonna stand up, but keep your body down there. Stretch through the hamstrings one more time here. Knees are soft, and now you're slowly going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, rolling the wrists as you come up. Very good. Deep breath in, and exhale, and you've done it. You've moved daily. Thanks for joining. Tell people that we have some beginner workouts now coming out on the channel. If you're a beginner, if you like this workout, be sure to share it on your social media. I'd appreciate that. Smash that like button. Don't forget to be subscribed. And if you'd like a workout for tomorrow, click or tap there. If you'd like to be a part of our membership where we have focused weekly workout schedules for beginners, click or tap right there. All right, see ya in the next workout.